this is a tutorial for drawing a box and whisker plot graph. Um, this is suitable if you're comparing um, uh, two areas, for example a managed area and an unmanaged managed area um, of uh, an ecosystem. And uh, it's useful when you have um, information on the minimum, maximum, median, upper and lower quartiles. Um, so this is, this is how you um, plot your data. Um, you can see I've got um, on the y-axis um, percentage of vegetation cover. That could be percentage of bare ground or any, any kind of uh, data that, that you've collected. And uh, you can see on my x-axis I've got managed and unmanaged. Um, I've got some data which I'm going to plot. So um, let's say I put down 10 quadrats in my managed area and I had counted the percentage of vegetation cover. I'm just simply going to draw a dispersion graph. So my first quadrat had 68% um, of vegetation quadrat, um, and then 65 and 64. And then I had three quadrats here um, on 62. Uh, so there's one, there's another one, and there's another one. Uh, then I had a a 58, and then I had a 50, a 44, and I had a 40. So that's where my um, data is dispersed. This is a dispersion graph, and I can add things to it. Um, I'm going to change um, colour here so you can actually see the lines uh, more easily, uh, but you can do it in pencil on your um, actual box and whisker plot. Um, first of all, I'm going to draw the median, which I've calculated um, as 62. Uh, so I'm just going to draw that in here. Uh, that's my median. Um, and now from here, I'm going to um, plot my um, upper quartile, uh, which I've worked out as uh, 64. Uh, but I'm not going to do a long line, I'm just going to do a, a short line over my 64. That's my upper quartile and I've calculated my lower quartile uh, to be 50. And you'll have to calculate your own upper quartiles and lower quartiles using your maths skills. Um, but please ask if you don't know how to do that. Um, I'm now going to join up my upper quartile and my lower quartiles uh, to make a box. Uh, so you can see quite a few um, uh, crosses are within there. Uh, I'm now going to plot my um, minimum data, which is the 40 here, with another line, and my maximum, which was 68, with another line like so. And I'm going to join up my max and my min to the upper and lower quartiles, like so. And I have now drawn a box and whisker plot. If you're wondering why it's called whisker, if you turn it, some people say it looks a little bit like whiskers on a cat. You may have a different opinion, but anyway, that's how it gets its name, box whisker plot. Um, I can then do the same um, in the unmanaged area and uh, plot the data to have um, another box and whisker plot. So one there, probably one here based on that data. And I can then refer to that in my analysis to try and explain the differences.